Here this course we studied last time. And prior to that, we studied the minimum steel reinforcement and the maximum steel reinforcement. Now, how do we design the tension reinforcement? Design of tension longitudinal reinforcement. I told you last time that we have a beam and it's under a flexible load and under the flexible load it undergoes one is bending moments will develop in this beam. Second, there will be shear forces developing in this beam. Now we analyze for bending moment. From bending moment, we determine the tension reinforcement required. Because we are designing this beam for flexural forces. Predominantly we are designing it for flexural forces. And the predominant flexural forces for which it will be designed is tension. And steel is then designed for tension. Similarly, we also design for flexural forces complete in compression. Because beam has a compression above and tension below. So, for bending moment in compression, we will be designing the concrete and bending moment in tension, we will be designing steel, which is here, in the tension zone. So, hum about what are we going to design this? We are going to predominantly design it for bending moments, compression ke liye concrete and tension ke liye steel. Now, if you have a beam section which I showed you while we were discussing, then the stress profile is something like this, and for steel, it's at the point of steel, this is tension and this is compression, and then I throw. This was 0.447 MCK was the stress at extreme fiber in compression and this was 0.87 FY in stresses, not T, this is stress, stresses in steel and this is stress in compression. At the extreme fiber, the maximum for design purpose is this much. Then we got, if you remember, we got an equation which was 0.87 FY by 0.362 Fy. Am I writing it right? B. Yes. I see. Then, but that was when, if you remember, what we did there was x u multiplied by, which was the depth. Of the neutral axis multiplied by B give you this area. This is B, and it was multiplied by 0 0.447 FC K, which is the maximum stress here. But that will be when this is we assume that this is taking a uniform load throughout throughout this whole section, it's taking the uniform load. When the stress envelope is taking uniform load throughout, then it's equal to 0.87 into 
एफ वाई टू ओके इन टू ए एस टी देर इज एस टी एस इन टू ए एस टी इज द एरिया ऑफ द स्टील इन दैट केस दिस इज द इक्वेशन नाउ इफ आई डू नॉट एज्यूम दैट दिस इज यूनिफॉर्म थ्रू आउट एंड आई टेक दैट फॉर दिस मच पोर्शन इट्स लेनियर एंड देन इट्स टर्बोल फॉर दिस मच पोर्शन then what will be the equation it will be uh, from this equation uh, this is around uh, 3 by 7 let me let me check it again straight profile diagram what is straight at this level x point 0 0 2 x point 0 0 3 3 5 here so what is So from similar triangles, uh, if this is x u, then how much will be this, and how much of x u will be this? It will be one point zero zero three five divided by x u will be equal to point zero zero two divided by whatever x u minus. Let's take this value. For example, this is x. Yeah, minus x. So it's x u minus x by x u is equal to point zero zero two by zero three five. So for this, how much is it? Four by seven. Four by seven. This one. Yes. Sir. So it's one minus x by x u is four by seven. So x by x u is one minus four by seven. This is three by seven. Three by seven. So x is three by seven of x u. So this is three by seven. This is three by seven x u. And the rest portion will be four by seven. इंटू बी 
into 2 by 3 of this height of parabola that's 4 by 7x2. So this will give you C2. That's overall equal to 0.87 FYKST. Then how much are you getting? This is for don't go combined from. And what you will get, I'm just on D, X U, you will get now this point eight seven F C K into B divided by not point it will be point three six two, not point four four seven into F Y into A S T. Now code mentions it like this x u by t is equal to 0.87 fck b 0.4362 fy ast into d so don't know sides d add here why because x u by d ratio is important this is d code mentions this and code mentions a limiting x u by d ratio you go to annexure g at the end of the code ninety six page at the end ninety six page g point one point one sections without compression in post Forward. The moment of resistance of the rectangular section without compression reinforcement should be obtained as follows. Now, this is without compression reinforcement. I have analyzed it as well without compression reinforcement. If there was compression reinforcement, there will be extra C due to compression. Right now, compression is taken all by the cleave. Then parabolic. That's all taken by the concrete here. So remember this is only when without compression reinforcement. I shall be obtained as follows. Determine the depth of the neutral axis from the following equation. So the first step is you determine the depth of neutral axis from this equation, which I have just mentioned, 0.87 FY AST. FY AST by FCK. B. This is F Y A S T F C K B. Now, if the value of X U by D is less than the limiting value, now this is the limiting value. This is not a balance section, which I told you last time. When it's a balance section, then this equation comes. Then C is equal to T. Compression forces are equal to T. So this becomes the limiting value. You cannot increase x u greater than this value. If it increases greater than this value, it becomes overreinforced. So this is x u by d max actually or limiting. Code sometimes say, uh, code mentions limiting L I M, but you can also treat it as maximum. Maximum value for x u. So the first step in design of the flexural tension member or the reinforcement is you first calculate this value x u by d this is the first step as per the code as well then the second step is if the value of x u by d is less than the limiting value now when will x u by d be less than this value this is limiting balance when x u by d is less than x u max by d that means it's under reinforced then it's under reinforced and that's what our design should be 
the actual x u by d should be less than this x u max by d. Then we calculate the moment of resistance by the following expression. Now, where did this equation come from? It's m is either equal to cz or it's equal to pz. Moment is equal to force into uh, lever arm or tension into lever arm because for a balance section for a balance section C is equal to B so M for a balance section will be Cz into or equal to Tz now what is Z value here it, this C is acting somewhere here at x bar somewhere here where is T acting it's acting at straight jahan put steel at the point of steel so this is acting at x bar from here and T is acting at D effect to depth now about what do you take Z value what is Z value you can take it about any element for example this is the lever arm from here to here or lever arm is from here to here which one? it's from C to T huh? from C to T from C to T this is your job that makes the, it as a couple the coupling moment upper compression hai at a point of impact and D is at the point of impact so this becomes the coupling moment so this is your Z value from the center of jumper x can I see and at the center of this if I solve this I don't want to go into the solution because I'm sure this email lagi rang MU you get then from the code it's not important to get into how because C hame pata hai from here now we just have to multiply it by Z value first we have to get this neutral axis sorry this uh, mean kaha par yaya kar raha hai then I will calculate this now M is then equal to what is force say 0 0.87 0 0.87 FY FY ASP yes what is this give itna portion kya hai Tension, tension T. force. Then into B. B. One minus ASP. ASP. By BD By BD BD Which D? Ah, so this is then you can say this is now D is total effective depth minus Itna portion and that's this AST appointment BDFCK. This much portion. We are, this is what you are getting. But you can write it down also as if it was not under reinforced, it was if it was. If xu is xu by d is equal to xu max by d, then your m will be dictated by. I'm not writing down mu. It will be 0.362 fck d. ये क्या है f into xu. What is this? Compression. Compression. 0.362 fck into b xu. Is C into say any B because the lever arm will be 
Between the two will be? Same. Same term. So this is when it's a balanced section. But code says when xu is less than xu, this is less than xu max. This is what code says. So it's under reinforced. Then it's dictated by this equation. Not by this equation. If this was the equation, you could take, I, if it was balanced, you could take this or this, both. Because M would be Cz into Tz. In when it's balanced. But when it's under the force, what will decide your limiting movement? Under reinforcement, the first thing Steel. The chances of failure or reaching towards failure is off. Steel is more. So the forces in steel are actually these greater than C in under reinforcement. Thereby, the code says that you have to take this situation because the steel becomes the deciding factor then. That's why we are then considering steel as per code. Now, if the value of x u by d is equal to the limiting moment value, the code is written point C, man, the moment of resistance will be given by this expression, which I just told you. Point is this. So, what is it? Now, just this. ये इधर उधर इसके साथ खेला है इसने थोड़ा सा तो CS got this equation तो क्या किया है if you check this your x u max by d is what for a balance section किसके बराबर है अभी जो हमने लिखा है zero point eight seven f y s a divided by two f c k b into x u x u so x u max is the output is the equation in this equation replaced here f y a s t by b d f c is replaced by 0.362 x u by x u max by d d d i if you have to write this one what you will get is 0.362 ایسی we kept less than x u max by d and we determined 
the uh, moment which taken up by the reinforcement mu equal to 0.87 fy est d or third step mein we calculate the mu limit is, which is which comes from concrete concrete ki property kya hai to teen step iske hain this third step then becomes the check kya ye over reinforce to nahi ho raha section it's a check iske isse zyada mu required should not cross and then fourth step if x u by d is greater than the limiting value now ab yahan par over reinforce ka ki condition dal diya then the section should be redesigned चौथा स्टेप जो डी पॉइंट लिखा हुआ है इफ एक्स यू बाई डी इज ग्रेटर देन लिमिटिंग वैल्यू मींस इफ एक्स यू बाई डी इज ग्रेटर देन एक्स यू मैक्स बाई डी देन इट बिकम्स ओवर रिफोर्स एंड देन इट बिकम्स ओवर रिफोर्स यू हैव टू एक्चुअली रीडिजाइन इट हाउ आपको यू हैव टू इंक्रीज द सेक्शन सो दैट एम यू लिमिटिंग इंक्रीज एम यू लिमिटिंग किस पे डिसाइड होगा Now, when you are x u by d is equal to x u max by d, it's balanced. Then your m u, whatever m u you are getting, will be equal to m u limiting or m u max. When x u by d is less than x u max, means under reinforced, then your m u is less than m u. एम यू इज फ्रॉम स्टेप नंबर टू एंड एम यू लिमिटिंग इज फ्रॉम स्टेप नंबर थ्री जो इसमें कोर्ट में दिया हुआ है फ्रॉम दीज इक्वेशन दिस इज दोल प्रॉपर्टी फॉर अ बैलेंस सेक्शन यू आर मेकिंग इट अंडर इनफोर्स सो योर एम यू विल बी लेस देन एम यू लिमिटेड बट इफ एक्स यू इज बाई डी इज ग्रेटर देन एक्स यू मैक्स बाई डी वैपनिंग एम यू इज ग्रेटर देन एम यू लिमिटेड so your steel is taking more load than for a balance section so the failure would be then brittle thereby to avoid that what do we do we have to is case mein hame kya karna hai mu limiting ko hi increase karna hai for that mu limiting increase karne ke liye kya karenge b d ya fc ke increase karenge jo aap equation c hai उसमें आप क्या करोगे यू आइदर इंक्रीज बी डी और एस सी के सच एज टू मेक इट अगेन अंडर रिफोर्स तो वहां पर रीडिजाइन में जो पॉइंट डी दिया हुआ है उसमें यही है कि यू आर इफ यू आर एम यू इज ग्रेटर देन एम यू लिमिटिंग वेन एक्स यू बाई डी इज ग्रेटर देन एक्स यू मैक्स इन दैट केस आप उस सेक्शन के जोमेट्री से उसको इंक्रीज करते हो यू इंक्रीज द जोमेट्री ऑफ इट और यू इंक्रीज एफ सी के then comes the next one with the section with the compression reinforcement we will not go into that now so this sort of sections are known as singly reinforced sections which sort of sections They are known as singly reinforced. Which sort of sections? Which have only tension reinforcement. They are reinforced singly, only at the bottom. They may have anchor bars at the top, but they are not compressor reinforcement. They are just meant to be anchors. They have tension at the bottom. So these sections are known as singly reinforced. Now those sections which have Also compression at the top, compression reinforcement at top, and tension reinforcement at the bottom. They are known as doubly reinforced. Section. So we are going to first study the singly reinforced section, and we are going to design the singly reinforced sections before we go into the doubly reinforced sections. Now, in singly reinforced sections,
what are we doing from next class we will take an example how to design a beam from first step to the last step and inshallah we will do it in 